How's it going guys, Bapif here from GN Tech and welcome to a camera comparison between the Huawei P30 and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. I'm recording this from the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones at 1080p resolution. Now I'm quickly going to get up and give you guys an overall idea of how both of these manage to capture video footage. But not only that, you can also judge the audio that's coming from both of these smartphones. But with that being said, I'm now going to move into the primary camera specifications, followed by some photos and video samples from the primary cameras. So on the one hand, we've got Huawei's new P30 and its triple camera Leica setup with a 32 megapixel selfie camera versus Huawei's Mate 20 Pro triple camera Leica setup and its 24 megapixel sensor. Starting with this set of images, it's clear that the Huawei P30 sample is more true to life. The one from the Mate 20 Pro is brighter which gives you more details in the shadows. Turning on AI for both, there's a visible enhancement but the P30 Pro's image still stays more true to life. The greens and the pink from the Mate 20 Pro come off as artificial. With both phones sporting wide angle lenses for super macro shots, you can get very close to subjects. And here's a sample of the same flowers but much closer. And here, while the colors from the P30 are better, the detailing from the Mate 20 Pro is incredible. With AI turned on, once again there's an enhancement to colors and there's no doubt the P30 is better but the sharpness from the Mate 20 Pro and its detail is just more impressive. When focusing on more general photos, we've got this one near the pool. I think there's a hint more sharpness with the P30 Pro image, but that's about it. Enabling AI here, both phones sense this as a cloudy environment and picked up more detail from the clouds, but there's no evidence of one phone doing a significantly better job than the other. Now here's an image from Dubai City Walk. I think between these two, the vibrancy in the red from the Mate 20 Pro is the eye catcher for the general consumer. But just that hint of color accuracy is better from the P30. This also gave me a good chance to test the wide angle modes from both phones and again there's nothing major to distinguish both with them doing an equally good job. This photo in particular was to test the 40 megapixel modes on both phones where again the only real difference is the added color accuracy from the P30. Even when zooming 5 times in post production, the amount of detail being picked up by both phones is near identical. Speaking of zoom, at one times with and without AI, the difference in photo samples is very minor if you ask me, with a bit of a variation in color, but that's about it. When zooming in 2 times again, you can say there's a bit of extra detail from the P30 sample with and without AI. At 10 times zoom though, you do see a major difference in picture quality with the P30 clearly better off but the AI adds a green tinge to the picture which makes the colors a bit artificial on the P30 compared to the Mate 20 Pro. And while this is the maximum zoom for the Mate 20 Pro, the P30 can go up to 30 times without and with AI which is impressive. Now let's take a look at the phone's aperture modes. Just like most of this camera comparison, it's extremely difficult to pick one phone over the other. But again, the difference comes in color profiles which is most likely due to the RYYB sensor on the P30. But switching to the 1x aperture mode, you really see the improvement the P30 brings with subject detail retention but also the more realistic blur effect compared to the Mate 20 Pro. And for portraits of people, I think both phones have their respective color profiles again. As far as edge detection goes, each camera has some instances where the blur is not quite consistent, but interestingly it's both on my right shoulder area. The edge detection is also a bit inconsistent towards my ears, but these are very small things. I think the overall photo from the P30 looks a lot more sharper, but when it comes to color preference, I do think it's a matter of personal choice. But when using the front camera, the P30 is much better. Not only with the details, but also with the skin tones. And with portrait mode enabled, in this instance, the blur and skin processing is way more accurate on the P30 compared to the Mate 20 Pro's overly beautified image. Moving into nighttime photos, we'll start with this one near downtown Dubai. It seems like the P30 image is better able to stabilize the view and lights compared to the Mate 20 Pro, making the P30 image sharper. With night mode, both phones do an impressive job, but the P30 still picks up more details on the building and the trees for the better picture. It also seems like the stabilization when taking night mode photos has improved on the P30, which is impressive to note considering this is still pre-release software. Next we have a picture of a bright light archway and while the colors are accurate from the P30, the Mate 20 Pro actually captures the background and detail between the archway a bit better. But with the night mode enabled, both phones do an equally good job but the natural orange 
orange and yellow tones come across better from the P30 image. Here's a look at both phones wide angle lenses at night where the P30 shows better detail but there's more grain to the photo towards the sky. A bit more detail is also picked up by the P30 from the footpath. Enabling night mode, I think the sharpening is a lot more aggressive on the P30 which brings out a lot more detail but with that comes a lot more grain in the photo. The Mate 20 Pro sample is softer with a fair bit of enhancement but looks the more natural to me. Now here's a sample testing zoom at night. At one time zoom, the results are very much identical but with night mode on, the enhancement and visible detail on the P30 image is greater. As we move into two times, there's a bit more sharpness on the P30 image compared to the Mate 20 Pro's relatively hazy image, but again, the enhancement with night mode improves the quality of both images drastically, with the P30 showing more detail and sharpness. At 10 times zoom, neither phone produces very good results, even though the photo from the P30 is better and with night mode enabled, while there is an enhancement, the results aren't quite usable. The P30 camera does allow you to go 30 times into an image, which in this case is unique, without and with its night mode, and as a matter of fact, the result looks a bit more detailed than the Mate 20 Pro's image at 10 times zoom, which is pretty impressive. We'll look at selfies coming to the end of the photo samples and I think the more natural photo comes from the P30. But when the portrait feature is turned on, the sharpness from the Mate 20 Pro is impressive compared to the P30 sample, although the Mate 20 Pro's image is artificially brightened up. This might have to do with the Mate 20 Pro's 3D facial sensor that it has for face unlock that the P30 does not have. And to round off, here's a test of the flash on both phones. The P30 shows a better photo in this case and doesn't have that yellow tinge the Mate 20 Pro image has. There's also greater detail on the subject from the P30 image which makes it look better overall. Now for video we'll start with 1080p footage. The P30 has a tad better dynamic range but quality and stabilization is about on par. Both phones also have a wide angle mode which seems to be sharper from the Mate 20 Pro with it also having better stabilization, but the colors from the P30 are better. 1080p footage while running does not show a huge difference in stabilization between both the phones, and using the wide angle lens when running, the stabilization is a bit better from the Mate 20 Pro. At 4K resolution, the P30 and Mate 20 Pro do not show a very huge difference in stabilization, but with the wide angle lenses, the footage is a lot more smoother from the P30. Running at the 4K resolution does not result in a difference in stabilization, if at all, and when using the wide angle lenses, the stabilization results are the same. For video at night, this is a sample from both phones when walking at 1080p using the normal angle lenses, where the P30 shows some purple fringing in the lights, which most probably will be fixed with a future software update as this phone is on pre-release software. This is the wide angle 1080p footage from both phones where I think the results are pretty identical. And here are running samples from both the phones at 1080p resolution, whereas this is how both phones capture wide angle 1080p footage while running. At 4K resolution when walking, there is a bit more sharpness from the P30 sample, but the wide angle camera performance is not that impressive. And when running, the results are less than impressive both when using the normal angle lens and the wide angle lens, with the footage being very very shaky and almost unusable. So that's all for this comparison. I think this was a very comprehensive look at both the cameras on the phones and we hope it helps you get an idea of their performance. Make sure to subscribe for comparisons and reviews in the future. Thanks for watching, this was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!